Lions TV, we are sponsored by Regal Elevators and Lifts Consultants Limited, a company that is owned and operated by a Millwall fan, just like every single one of the sponsors that you can see on the screen, right? Now, if you are going to do a bit of business in 2021, then please keep it in the Mill family by checking out all of our sponsors' website links in the description below. This is your preview show, looking ahead to Saturday's long ass away trip to face Huddersfield Town at the John Smith Stadium in search of our third straight away win. A last minute winner would be nice again, wouldn't it? Let's take a look at the 11 that Gary Rowett might pick to try and get that exact job done. Okay, so... One defeat in eight, I think it is. As I said, two straight away wins. Of course, last time out, we won at home. So we are back-to-back -back wins as well. And I, I didn't give us enough credit. Maybe, maybe I really do, because I always get grief for it. Two games in a row against Sheffield United and Stoke, respectively. Two wins and four goals as well, by the way. So that is by no means an easy feat. And he's going to have a selection headache once again. But as I said, it's a nice selection to have, of course. Billy Mitchell came in. Against Stoke for the suspended Joel Savile, in my opinion, had a very, very strong second half. Him and Ryan Leonard were the driving force. So he's going to find it difficult to drop Billy. However, we do know that Joel Savile is, you know, sort of just below Jed. Uh, Jed's sort of right-hand man, the second-in-command at the club, and he's got that swagger about him. He's got that confidence. He's an experienced player in the championship. So he will put Savile back in, make no mistake. You know, no matter how well Billy's played or anyone does in that position, in his mind and in his eye, George Savile is the main man and he will come back into that midfield. However, George Evans is injured now out until after the international break. He originally broke his hand, didn't he? Had a broke a bone in his hand. Had a cast put on it for the Stoke game. Um, but he went off, I think it was a hamstring injury. And he's now out until after the international break. So, what is he going to do? Well, personally, I'd leave Billy in there and I'd bring... Joel Savile straight back in, which leaves Ryan Leonard at right wing back. But I thought Ryan Leonard was superb in midfield. And I don't want Danny McNamara anywhere near the subs bench. I want Danny McNamara starting every week. Because as well as Ryan Leonard does there, as well as Billy's done there, I think Danny Mac just gives it... Well, it's his position. And he, and he makes it his own. He's got that different dynamic about him, which gives us another thing going forward. So, as I said, difficult decisions for the manager to have to make. But it's not like he's thinking, oh, shit, I've got this shit player and I've got this youth team player. Can I rely on a youth team player because I've got an injured first team player? That isn't into the equation. He's got lots of strong players. Then four players. Great players for us, all four of them. Savile, not so much this time around. Uh, and he's got a decision to make. But he's the gaffer and he'll have to make it. Let's move on to the opposition. It is Huddersfield Town. Managed by Carlos Cobaran. He's brought a little bit of stability to the shit show that was Huddersfield Town. I'm going to say this and it might seem a little bit uh, disrespectful, but silly I'm saying it. Because I know that they got to the Premier League. Then they come down. I think they nearly went down again. But they're sort of a club, and all I've just told you that little bit of history of their recent history. They're a club to me that just sort of exist, and that's no disrespect. And they sort of go under the radar. And I, I never really, I never really noticed their results or how they're doing, or even who their manager is. But yeah, Carlos Carbaran's in charge. Of course, he did bring a bit of stability to all this chaos that was going on. And a former goalkeeper has been in charge since 2020. They currently sit eighth in the table, two places above us on exactly the same point. So a win at the John Smith Stadium on Saturday will see us leapfrog them. Their form's not been too bad, but not as good as ours. They've won two, drawn two, and lost one of their last five games. And last time out, they lost 3-0 on the road to table-topping, undefeated Bournemouth at the Vitality Stadium. So they'll be looking to get back to three points this Saturday. So this is your pre-match prediction. And here we go. I had a dream we won the game by three goals to one. So there you go. Simple as that. We're going to win the game by three goals to one. Ojo will get his first. Bradshaw will get another. And of course, Jed Wallace with the icing on the cake. Three one at the John Smiths. You heard it here first. Bosh. So, that is your lot for this preview show. There you go. I've backed us for a win. I never back us for a win, and then we end up winning. Now I've backed us for a win. Watch us go and fuck it up there in Yorkshire. Hopefully not, because I will be travelling up, and hope to see you there if you're going. Please be sure to check out the fan score predictions for the other boys at Lions TV. This should go out tomorrow on the channel. As you're watching this, I'm interviewing Anton Rogan, Lions Lounge Lockdown 52. So, that will be going out on the channel at some point. And other than that, yeah, I'll see you up in Yorkshire if you're going. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you lions.